Okay, we're out here by the Swanee River Trail and Boardwalk. And it's a third of a mile out there to the river, the observation deck, and that's what we're going to walk right now. They've recently done a prescribed burn. In other words, uh, and the Forest Service for years had some trouble with this, especially out west. Uh, all this undergrowth, if it used to be allowed to... Uh, You know, like when there were lightning strikes or that, they didn't fight fires because uh, it's natural state. You know, this would burn off the undergrowth and take care of things. Nature took care of things. And then uh, we came along, human beings, and uh, things got, you know, it's the way it is. But now they've gone back. In certain areas, and they do prescribe burns when when the undergrowth, because see if there's not much undergrowth and there's a fire, uh, it, the, the trees don't burn. The fire doesn't get hot enough to burn the big trees like you see here. So uh, that's what they do. And this is a bald cypress, and uh, it's a big bugger. It's, it was supposed to be pouring rain. I mean, every time I take a road trip, uh, and this is uh, this is butterweed in here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Uh, seems like every time I take a road trip, it's sunny and then it rains. So rain. These are marsh ferns. It says right there. All this stuff is really well marked. It says devils. These are devils walking sticks. These kind of whatever and then along these trails there's always some place to sit quietly but as you can see it's all these cypress growing the water and uh the sun's kind of coming out so uh I don't know if it pours rain it pours rain but some of the places I've been early on I didn't shoot video or I tried to shoot video and it didn't work out it's sort of my March couple day road trip I'm a couple days early but uh, what do we have here it's a hornbeam tree I don't know much about them but I'm showing you what I see I have no idea. You hear the birds. I can. This is sparkleberry. There's things down there, I guess. And this is civity, civity nesters. These are the birds that are out here in the dead trees. Oh, there, so there it is. Excuse me. Let me zoom in a bit. We put these things up. We've also got them for bats here to bring them back this is a super bell, silver bell it doesn't have any bells it must be female silver. but anyhow You know, the other thing's been goofy is the temperature. I mean, it was down near, you know, freezing, 0 C, 32 Fahrenheit, whatever. And then it warmed up and it was in the 70s. I mean, I went from sleeping under a quilt to just sleeping under a sheet. So, uh, it's been a bit weird. I guess you might say if you don't like the weather, hang on. It'll change. But anyhow, we're getting out here to the boardwalk. And so here's more about the uh, Barrett Owl. Nice eyes, there you go. A look there. 
and uh, another nice place to sit down and relax you can see whoops this way to the river viewpoint that's right And the Swanee River up kind of, you know, it sort of, in a way, reminds me of the Songkram River. It starts in Udon and goes into the Mekong. It's, uh, you know, the caves along it and all the springs. It's really uh, interesting. And, you know, things are well looked after and cared for. Okay, what is this? This is about cottonmouths, which are poisonous steaks for sure. Anyhow, and these, these boardwalks are really, you know, Americans tend to be supersized, I guess you might say. And these things are really well maintained. And sturdy. These are more about the bald cyrus. It's a conifer. I didn't know that, having needles and cones. However, unlike other conifers, the needles turn brown and fall in the winter. Huh. Two theories for the function of the knees that surround the base of the tree are that they provide support. Those are, you can see them, well, you can see them all over. I don't need to zoom. Sort of wings that come out. And there are they. These aren't really huge compared to some of them, but there they are. And, and usually weekdays at these places, especially in this kind of weather, uh, I have the place to myself. Wood ducks, and they're found in wooded swamps. Not that they're made out of wood. And here we are coming up on the river. And the little viewing platform here. You can go, let's first, let's go around to, this tells you about the Swanee River. I've got pretty, plenty of posts. It starts up in the Okefenokee Swamp in a wildlife refuge and I went up there and it's all kind of I don't know but anyhow we're down here just outside Chiefland and uh, the Lower Swanee National Wildlife Refuge and let's go out here and take a look and let's kind of that's looking downstream come around here sort of out there by itself. Manatee Springs State, uh, State Park where where all the buzzards are here is upriver almost into Chiefland. But it's cloudy but it's not it's not doesn't look like rain right now even though I went through a couple sprinkles. Zoom in, in a bit and give you another look also when I was out here the uh, fish, I can't remember the name, were spawning. And man, it's like flying fish. It was really amazing. But anyhow, there you go. A look at, okay, we'll zoom out and one more pan back. And there you go. Walk to the Swanee River. Hope you all enjoyed it.